Hey everyone, welcome to another 5 Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. And today we're going to look at the game <clears throat> between Larry Christensen, the American Grandmaster, and Anatoly Karpov, who needs no introduction. This game was played in Vikonze in 1993. Um, at that time it was called Hogovens. That was the name of the sponsor. And now it's called Tata Steel, I believe. Uh, but they they change the name of the company every few years, so uh, yeah. Okay, so this game was played 30 years ago. Um, Christensen has white. Karpov, obviously, the former world champion at this point. And um, well, let's let's look at the game. Christensen's white plays d4, and they played a Queen's Indian, which I just lectured on. Uh, I did a lecture like two, three weeks ago. You can look on the YouTube page on our Queen's Indian uh, lecture. And in this position, Christensen played the move that uh, Kasparov favored when he was uh, world champion. And this was called the Petrosian variation, A3, stopping black from playing bishop B4. Bishop A6, attacking the pawn on C4. Queen C2, defending the pawn. The bishop goes back to b7. And <clears throat> the idea behind bishop a6 and making the queen go to c2 is the d4 pawn is not protected by the queen anymore. So black's going to put immediate pressure on the pawn on d4. After knight c3, he plays the move c5. Now black likes to play c5 and take on d4, but sometimes white plays the move d5, especially when the queen's on d1. And with the queen not on d1, now d5 is a pawn sack. So Christensen took advantage of his queen on c2 and played e4 because his queen's defending the e4 pawn. They traded. Knight c6. They traded on c6. Christensen played bishop f4. Karpov played knight h5, kicking the bishop away. Um, bishop e3. And now Karpov made one of the most famous blunders in his long career. He doesn't blunder too often, so when he does, then we remember it. Karpov tried to take advantage of the f4 square, trying to get his knight to f4, which he could do by playing like queen b8 or queen c7 or something. But instead he played the move bishop d6, because that develops a piece, and that's actually a blunder. So if you can see white's winning move, then then you could be Karpov or, you know, something. Um, so pause your video and try to find the right move here for white that, that is actually winning. Okay, we're back. And in this position, Christensen played queen d1, always retreat. That's a move Karpov missed that attacks the knight on h5 and the bishop on d6. So Christensen wins a whole piece. There's nothing Karpov can do. So Karpov resigned, and he lost the game in 12 moves. Didn't even make his 12th move. So 11 and a half moves. So that's the famous game, Christensen Karpov. Karpov blundered a piece to a retreat, always retreat. And you could see how somebody could miss queen d1. But you know what they say, loose pieces drop off. If you like that video and our other videos in this series, please like and subscribe. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This has been 5 Minutes with Ben, and I'll see you next time. Bye.